Sound travels about 750 miles per hour. If you stand in a canyon and sound a horn, you will hear an echo. Suppose it takes four seconds to hear the echo, how far away is the canyon wall in feet? So what's happening here is you're in a canyon, if you sound a horn, the sound travels to the opposite wall, bounces back, and then you hear it. The total time it takes to hear the echo is four seconds, which means it would take two seconds to reach the opposite wall, and then two seconds to travel back to you. To determine how far away the canyon wall is in feet, we'll first have to convert 750 miles per hour to a rate in feet per second, then recognize that it will take two seconds to reach the opposite wall, and therefore using the formula distance equals rate times time, we can then determine how far away the canyon wall is. So again, the first step is to convert 750 miles per hour into feet per second. So let's write this rate as 750 miles per one hour. And now we'll multiply by several unit fractions to convert this into feet per second. Let's first multiply by a unit fraction that will convert miles to feet, where there are 5,280 feet in one mile. Since we want miles to simplify out, we have miles here in the numerator, so we'll put miles here in the denominator, so the units simplify out. We'll convert this to feet, and because of our conversion, our unit fraction will be 5,280 feet divided by one mile. Notice the units of miles now simplify out, and now we'll convert hours to seconds. This will take two unit fractions. We'll first convert hours to minutes, then the minutes to seconds. We want hours to simplify out, so we'll have hours in the numerator and the minutes in the denominator. There's one hour and 60 minutes. Notice hours simplifies out. And now we'll convert minutes to seconds. We want minutes to simplify out, so we'll have minutes on top and seconds on the bottom. One minute equals 60 seconds. So now minutes simplifies out, leaving us with feet per second, which is what we want. So next we'll multiply across the numerator. We'll have 750 times 5,280, and this would be feet. So we have 3,960,000 feet. And we have 60 times 60 seconds, or 3,600 seconds. Now we'll perform this division to get the unit rate, or the rate in feet per one second. So we'll take 3,960,000 and divide this by 3,600, which gives us 1,100 feet per second. Which can be written like this, or just 1,100 feet per second. And now we can determine how far away the canyon wall is using the formula distance equals rate times time, where this would be the rate but the time is not going to be four seconds because that's the time it takes to hear the echo, which is the time it takes to travel to the opposite wall and back. So it takes two seconds to reach the opposite wall and two seconds to return. So we'll have the distance equals the rate of 1,100 feet per second times the time, which is two seconds, which would be 2,200, this would be feet. Now we're asked to generalize the result. Suppose it takes n seconds to hear the echo. How far away is the canyon wall in terms of n? Well, if n is the time it takes to hear the echo, then n divided by two or half of n would be the time it takes to reach the opposite wall, which is the time we would use to determine how far away the canyon wall is. So we would say the distance is equal to the same rate of 1,100 feet per second times the time of n divided by two seconds, which would be equal to 1,100 n divided by two, or 550 n feet. So to generalize, the distance to the opposite canyon wall is equal to 550 n feet, regardless of the width of the canyon. 
I hope you found this explanation helpful.